Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Michigan Theater. Next, the Michigan Theater and this Mercedes attracted legendary stars. As a result, they both became legends in their own right. Detroiters would stand in line to see iconic entertainers on the stage right here, ranging from Duke Ellington to Frank Sinatra. Likewise, the G-Class has also earned a star-studded fan base in the nearly four decades since it made its debut, including popes and pop stars, royals and rappers, as well as countless off-road fans across the globe. Still, there's an obvious difference between this venue and this vehicle. Unlike the theater, the G-Class never faded. When Detroit fell on harder times, so did this building. And in 1977, it closed just as in Joni Mitchell's famous song, they paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Ironically, that very same year, 1977, marked the foundation of the German-Austrian joint venture Magna Steyr that set out to build the most capable off-road car in the world. And this car even got stronger over time. So tonight, we're happy to introduce you to the next chapter. Granted, at Mercedes-Benz, we have plenty of great cars in our portfolio. The best evidence are our recent sales figures. In 2017, we've sold more Mercedes-Benz vehicles than ever before. More than 2.3 million units made us the most successful premium brand on the planet, again. It made us the market leader in important markets like Germany or the United States, closing the year with our best ever sales month here in the US. We've learned over time that preserving heritage also means constantly improving it. You need to invest both bucks and brains to add new chapters while staying true to the overall script. That's exactly what we've done with the G-Class over decades. When designing a new car, you usually start with a long list of things to change. This time, we also started from scratch with the G-Class. One key question, however, was what do you have to keep? Of course, a lack of design, innovation, has been one reason why some cars and even some car brands passed away. But for the G-Class, keeping its iconic shape is part of the success formula. For that reason, we didn't even think about replacing the G-Wagon's holy off-road trinity. The leather type frame, the 100% differential locks, and the low-range gear. Okay, now some of you might be thinking, hey, did they invite us to Detroit just to say, here's the new G, it's just like the old one? Of course not. Let me clarify. This door handle is one of just three G-Class parts we carried over from the current to the new model without any improvement. An improvement in this case means we fundamentally refurbished the interior, we created an entirely new on-road experience. We took the G's legendary off-road competence even further. At the same time, we preserved its iconic character. And the only proper way to measure a G-Wagon's improvement is taking it out to its favorite playground. Mount Schöckel in Austria. That's what we did. Take a look. Conditions like this, when adaptive damping really shows its strength and puts a big smile on my face. I think it's clear only a G class can be better than a G class. And that's great. 
but it also improves off-road capabilities. And that's what really counts. Or take safety. Of course, the new G now offers all state-of-the-art safety systems you expect in a modern Mercedes. But the new G-Class also has some unique solutions. For instance, the G's iconic turn indicators now disappear in case of an accident. That protects pedestrians and the signature look of the car. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it, the new G-Wagon. I think you'll agree it's instantly recognizable, yet better in every dimension. And the new G-Wagon is not the only living legend we have on stage tonight. We also have a very special guest who is a perfect match for this special car. Both were born in Graz and now have a huge fan base here in the US and around the world. Both are strong characters, sporting a rather boxy design, and both make me look like the only guy on stage who could use some time in the gym. Let's give a big hand to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Welcome. Hello, Dieter. Wie geht's? Great, great. I'm so Very glad nice. that you lived up to your promise. I'll be back. Of course. The Terminator <laughs> always keeps his promise. Absolutely. But absolutely. It, as I told you, Dieter, it is such a great honor to be here today. An environmentalist, and I'm interested in the environment. And I think that eventually we have to get off fossil fuels. What is the future in fossil fuels? And does this G-Wagon eventually come out as an electric G-Wagon? Because I have one right now in Los Angeles an electric G-Wagon, the first one in the world, and it drives fantastic. What is the future on that? You know, um, last year we said publicly that we would um, change the entire Mercedes portfolio to having all electric drivetrains as well. And that clearly says, stay tuned. So you will electrify the Mercedes? We said the entire, the entire portfolio. That's fantastic. Let's give him a big hand for that one. This is very important to the world, to the health of the world.
Well, uh, obviously, all right, ready in 2016, and again with even more leeway in 2017, we became the number one premium manufacturer in the world. 2017 was another extremely successful sales year for us. We actually increased our sales by roughly 10 percent. Uh, which led us to now more than 2.3 million vehicles, an unbelievable amount which only very few years ago we wouldn't have even dreamed of. Click at the end. That's such a neat little detail. They don't just reach the end, they click. The G-Class is an icon. In, even though it's an all-new vehicle, we had to ask ourselves first, what do we not want to change? That's definitely the appearance of the vehicle. That is definitely the absolute superior capability off-road. Um, and this is, of course, the three main ingredient of this off-road performance, uh, which is uh, the frame, uh, which is the differential lock, and which is a uh, low uh, speed gear. But uh, beyond that, we have only three parts left which are the original parts. All the rest of the vehicle is completely new.